Hey there guys, welcome to the next tutorial here on the channel. A little over a week ago, I made a time lapse on how to make a duct tape wristlet wallet, kind of like a wristlet purse, which you can see here. I guess it can be considered a wallet as well, but more or less it's gonna be a purse. And this is kind of what I made in that time lapse. So I'm going to film a tutorial here on how to make this. And in the actual time lapse, I didn't actually make kind of a, a wrist strap for it, but we're gonna be doing that in this video. So let's get started on making the duct tape wristlet purse, maybe a wallet if you want it to be. All right, so I'm gonna be using two different colors. For the main color, I'm gonna be using the electric blue, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of the chrome tape to kind of highlight the wallet on all the cool little you know, pockets I'm gonna put into it, and the ID holders and stuff like that. First thing I'm gonna do is kind of decide how large you want your wristlet purse to be. I decided to make the whole thing kind of like a trifold design, which has about nine and a half inches long here. So I cut out four strips of tape. Of course, the electric blue, that's nine and a half inches long. Getting a few more than four strips, but I'm going to apply all these together and I'm going to show you exactly how high you need to apply these to make a full sheet of fabric to work with, fabric tape. So I'm going to take my third one, stick it right there, flip the whole thing over. This will be my fourth one, and then I'm going to flip that over and I'm going to measure my other one here. So it's about nine and a half inches across all the way, and it kind of has that trifold design you can see. And it's about, about five and a half inches high, so that's exactly how high I'm going to keep applying these strips. So I have about probably another four strips to go before I can get this whole sheet here. So I'm going to work on that now. All right, so to get the right height, it turns out I only needed three, uh, six strips total. So three on this side, three on the other, as you can see there. Once you, after you get that part totally, uh, you know, completed, we're going to work on a second portion. This is going to kind of be the kind of the bill fold, which is going to be just kind of a simple bifold inside the trifold portion of it. I really hate trifolds because of the way they fold the wallet, the, uh, the the money twice. So I decided to put the, you know, a, a, bi a bifold into a trifold wallet kind of thing. Kind of interesting, but uh, I made it a little bit smaller here. So this second piece is just the exact same size. It's a little bit smaller than the, the edge, edge here and it comes down about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little less than half an inch on the top. Next thing I'm going to do is attach it here on the bottom and of course on the side over here. So I'm going to do that step now. So once you have that sealed up, that is your billfold in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fill, fold the entire thing in half, just like kind of like a bifold wallet. Crease it down right there and then I'm going to take this piece and this is going to fold over right about there. I'll do a little bit of trimming to make it look a little bit nicer right there, or I can kind of double up a little piece to kind of make it a nice rounded edge. I can do that too. So I'm gonna crease it there also. And now we're gonna work on attaching everything into it. Now our, you know, our sections are kind of defined so you can tell exactly where you need to put stuff without it getting caught in the creases. So at this point, I want to work on a few vertical card holders, so which are going to go like this, up and down into the billfold part of the wallet. So we get another yet another crash course on making vertical card holders. So what you want to do is cut out three strips of tape that are a little bit shorter than the card holder going this way, than the card, the card you're using. You're going to need three of those. You're going to take your first two, stick them together just like this, right on top. No sticky side showing. You're going to take your third one, you're going to split it directly in half, just like that. Then you want to line it up so you have a little bit of room on the top here. And then you want to use your, your uh, third strip here, or half of your third strip, to apply it just a little bit past the card holder, the credit card like that. So you can see a little bit on either side. And then we're going to flip that piece over. And we're going to cover up the rest of the sticky, of the sticky side. Not like that. Like this. There we go. Then we take our card here, we put it right about there, we put that here, and we seal it up on the top, on the, uh, the sides and the bottom. Obviously, you want to leave the top open for the card. That's how you make vertical credit card holders. You start with that one, and then you put another one directly on top of it. And you kind of keep going all the way down if you as many as you want to put in there. Next thing I'm going to work on is an ID holder. The easiest place to get plastic for an ID holder, it's a question I get all the time, is to get like a really cheap binder like this one. And you see how it has like that sheet of plastic on the front where you can slip like a paper into or a label. You, if you get a really cheap binder, you can cut all that plastic off. It usually has it on both sides and you can use all that good plastic for ID holders. But you really only do, want to do it with a kind of a cheap binder because otherwise you don't want to, you know, ruin a nice one that you have. But once you have the plastic, you can put it all the way around on the, on the sides and the bottom. Of course, it's the top is just a little bit of decoration. There's no sticky part there. Now, of course, I'm using this with the uh, the chrome to kind of give it a little bit of accent. Going to go up and down with this one as well because it won't, really won't work horizontally. It's not quite the size for that. And then, of course, I have my very cool ID holder in the middle of it there. And of course, you can kind of work with these. You can put these on this side. You can put the ID holder on the left. It's totally up to you however you want to do that. 
So that's probably where I'm going to call it for putting all this stuff into it. Of course, you can work on coin holders or any other kinds of stuff you want to put in here, but there's a whole bunch of different ways you can do that. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to be putting in the credit card holder and the ID holder, and of course, the billfold in the back. Now let's work on a few of the straps. The easiest way to do that is cut out two strips of tape. I'll move the camera down so you can see. And you cut kind of a square out of each one, just like this. And when you fold them together, like this, it gives you a perfect strip for the strap and put a little bit of Velcro on there. And of course you have, this is your connecting piece. So you fold it back just like that. End up putting that right about there. Stick that down, put a little bit of Velcro on here and onto there. And of course do the same thing with this one right over here. All right, so now we have the Velcro. Everything looks great in the wristlet purse. Now let's work on the wrist part or the wrist strap for the actual purse. So what I did was cut out a strip of tape that's about uh, probably about seven or eight inches long. I actually cut that in half, and I'm going to use half of that for the strap. A lot of the wristlet straps are fairly small, but of course, when the smaller you make it, the more you run the risk of it falling off your wrist. So you want to go with one that you're comfortable with, a size that you're comfortable with, that you won't you know risk losing everything in your uh, your purse here. So I'm going to fold that in half just like that and then I'm going to attach this into the wallet here. And of course that's probably a little bit small but of course you can make it any size you want when you're laying out the strip here. Now I'm going to connect the strap into the purse. Now what I typically do when I'm working on all kinds of straps and such, I like to weave kind of the strap into the actual making of the wallet or the purse or whatever it is because it kind of adds to the strength of it and makes sure that it doesn't really come out as easily. So what I did is I cut, kind of got a small diagonal hole in the middle of the strip here and what we're going to do is we're going to feed that through that piece and then we're going to attach it all the way on the back. So this is going to probably going to be the trickiest part trying to get it to kind of feed through there. So we'll come back when I get it through there. So there we have it just like that. You see it goes through and it comes out the back. And I have two pieces of tape here. These will actually seal these up and kind of cover them up so you won't be able to see them. So that's on the outside of the wristlet there. And now we're going to work on sticking this on the inside. And since it's woven into the actual fabric, it works out much better. And the chances of it coming out are a lot, a lot slimmer than if you were just attaching it, you know, straight to the, the back or the front or anything like that. So there we have the strap. Now, of course, we have the whole thing just like that. So that about does it. Hope you guys liked the tutorial on how to make a wristlet purse or wallet, I guess you could call it. It's kind of a cross between a purse and a wallet. I think they're typically called wristlet purses, though. I've never seen too many people carry them on their wrists, even though it is called a wristlet. I think it's kind of more like a decorative sort of thing. But it is definitely the right size that you could carry on your wrist, or you can just tuck it into a larger purse or anything like that. So you got the, you know, the credit card holder, you got the ID holder, and of course, whatever you want to throw into it. You can also make this last segment kind of more like a trifle wallet with each segment being the same size so you can add a whole bunch of stuff into this last segment as well and kind of play around with the design you pretty much have three open canvases which with you can put you know anything into it you can kind of mix it around however you want so hope you guys like the tutorial like i said i'll catch you next time on the channel for more videos coming soon as always take care